Today, we've been asked to team up with Student Health Services to discuss some various misconceptions that the student body seems to have about menstruation. In this episode, we'll be answering your questions. Is it okay to wash my hair while on my period? Uh, yeah, being clean is a good thing and I can't think of any real reason to stop. <laughs> Will hot water increase my flow? Well, hot water does help with cramps, but there's really no way to regulate how fast or slow stuff goes on down there. It's all human body chemistry and I'm not far enough along in my anatomy lessons to be able to answer those questions about humanoids. <laughs> Humanoids. <laughs> Don't be silly. This university has an entirely human student body. Mm-hmm. Have you seen the swim? Yeah. Okay. What should I do if the Res Hall ghost steals all of my pads? Well, that's just ridiculous. Completely. Ghosts don't use pads, so you've got something else on your hands. But if you find yourself in an emergency, feel free to ask us or any of the other girls on the floor. Seriously though, I'd invest in some surveillance equipment. Okay, um, moving on. Are irregular periods okay? Uh, maybe. You can have a skip for all sorts of reasons. Uh, stress over exams and impromptu running with the dean. Spending too much time with the alchemy department. Pregnancy. But a doctor would be able to answer your questions. Exercising is very, very good. Personally, I would recommend checking out the Glee Club's boot camp. <laughs> It's very, um, energizing. And the bio lab techs can be really helpful as well. Oh, no, 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 please, please do not encourage them. Their last attempt at menstrual magic had us all with oh, stained underwear we've been and meaning to tell you that uh, Student Health Services is giving away free samples of these puppies, which definitely offer the right kind of protection. They have this 3D capture core thing that really works. It uh, quickly draws in and locks away wetness. Uh, wonder what it would be like to be a pad scientist, majoring in pad development, like, like how do they come up with this stuff? It's brilliant. <laughs> my periods syncing up with my roommates, is this normal? Totally, living with another female, things are bound to get synced up. If you have any questions related to lady time that makes you anxious, a doctor should be your first line of inquiry. Don't look so nervous, Pear. The people at Student Health Services do good work. I just don't want you mentioning the hooves again. Well, the hooves are a lot less noticeable than you think. Uh, will eating spinach shorten my flow? No, no food does. That's like asking if a bear will attack you on your period. Just a big old nope. And sleep. What about sleep? How much sleep should you get on your period? Fatigue is a common symptom of PMS. And I know we're in university, but sleeping is really important. You don't want to fall asleep in class, especially given some of the profs here at Silas. How come it is that you can talk about all this period stuff in the abstract, but then as soon as I ask you about you, you just shut down. Just, They're perfectly normal. Yeah, I just I don't want to talk about them in relationship to me, you know? I suppose, but you really shouldn't be afraid to talk about them. No one should. They're totally normal. And normal is good. So remember, residents, while hot water and spinach are both great, they have no bearing on your period. And 3D Capture Core is some next level tech. And helps to keep you protected. So tune in next time to another episode of Dawn's Disseminating, where we'll be discussing safe dorm cooking. How much fire is too much? Bye. <laughs>